when you're pretty, they monitor you. They keep tabs on you. They fish for information. I know, I know, it sounds far too familiar, doesn't it? Now, ladies, please be careful of these monitoring spirits. They can be very dangerous, as in spiritual dangerous. These women can put their evil eye on you. They can even do other harmful, dark, dark things to you. From the information that you give them, it can be intentional or unintentional. Some people just have a spirit of comparison and envy and negativity. Of course, your plans are going to be stagnant. As beautiful women, we have way more visibility. There are people, not a fair monger, but there are people that come to your life to fish for information, to hinder your life or to keep you stagnant or ruin your plans. And these people who come into your life might seem friendly or curious, but are hiding behind bad intentions. Girls, don't fall for it. It's always the ones that you think aren't monitoring spirits. It's always those people that hide behind a smile, that seem innocent, that seem friendly, that seem like they're just curious. Don't fall for it. They're a monitoring spirit and they're riddled with the spirit of comparison. They're riddled with the spirit of envy. Today's topic is often something that's not often discussed, but it's so important for protecting your energy and your peace. There are people out there called monitoring spirits who aren't in your life to support you, but to gather information about you. They fish for details about your life, your dreams, and your struggles, but their intentions are not pure. Beautiful women, we naturally attract attention, but not all attention is good attention. Not everyone who seeks your light comes to bask in it. Some come only to dim it. It's crucial to recognize these individuals because their presence can disrupt your peace and progress. A smile can hide a thousand intentions. So be sure to discern the ones that seek to gather and the ones that seek to give. Sorry if I'm getting a bit passionate. These monitoring spirits really grind my gears. So these people might ask seemingly innocent questions, but their curiosity often feels invasive. When someone's curiosity feels like an intrusion, it's a sign to protect your energy. They may even go as far as befriending you, not because they care, but to monitor your moves. Remember, some people befriend you not to support you, but to report on you. I'll say that again. Some people befriend you not to support you, but to report on you. One way to identify a monitoring spirit is by how they react to your success. Do they seem genuinely happy for you or do they immediately start asking for details? Monitoring spirits are not here to celebrate your success. They're here to study it for their own gain. Be mindful of those who ask for more than they give. They might be here to monitor, not to uplift. Now, girls, please, I hope you're taking this in. Wait, there's more. There's more. The reason I'm so passionate about this topic is because there are beautiful women out there that are kind people and they're naive and they don't understand that this person is not your friend. They're here to monitor you. They're a monitoring spirit. It's bad intentions. Let me ask you girls a question. Have you ever left a conversation with someone feeling uneasy afterwards? They ask you a question that seems innocent, seemingly innocent, but you leave feeling uneasy you leave feeling like not right. Or have you ever told someone something and then all your plans went left? That person, whoever you told, put their bad energy on you. They put their bad energy because energy is very, very real. Most people in this world are negative people. Most people in this world don't vibrate on a high frequency. Of course, your plans aren't going to work because their negative energy has now transferred onto your plans. And that's because that person is a monitoring spirit energy doesn't lie. Listen to your intuition. So what can we do to protect ourselves from these vampires? What you can do, girls, is simple. It's very, very simple. Okay, guard your dreams. Protect your life. Protect your dreams like a baby. Protect it. People don't have the best intentions for you. 
okay? Guard your dreams all your life. Not everyone in your circle is rooting for your rise. Not everyone in your circle is rooting for your rise. If something feels off, it probably is and you know it. Surround yourself with people who not only cheer you on, but are also willing to stand by you in their tough times. Oh my God, that's so important. Honestly, with me, I don't tell anyone anything that I feel is very precious to me. I don't tell anyone anything that's not done. It's really hard for me to trust people. I tell people what I want them to know and that's about it. So girls, at the end of the day, your life is yours to live and protect. Not everyone who comes into your life has your best interests at heart. So be discerning, be vigilant, and most importantly, protect your energy. Protect your energy. I don't care if it's your friend. I don't care if it's your mama. Protect your energy. Anyways, girls, that's it for today's video. I'd love to hear your experiences on monitoring spirits in the comments down below. Like and follow for more.